Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and my favorite tech of the year for 2019 was that, the Laowa Optics Probe Lens. It's of course an incredibly fun and unique lens. You don't see anything like it usually, um, but it enabled many of the shots you just saw in that little montage, and of course has made fun many shots you've seen during videos during the course of the year. It's made shooting tech a lot more fun, but of course it's a $1,500 super specialty lens. It didn't even come out this year. I just sort of discovered it this year. So instead of that sort of useless bit of information, I figured why not get together some of my favorite creators and have us all share our favorite tech of the year 2019, whether we discovered it this year or it came out this year, stuff that made our year better in tech. So that's exactly what we did. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some of our favorite creators talking about their favorite tech of this year. Hey, I'm Dave, and my favorite piece of tech from 2019 is a device that was notorious for getting really hot. This is the not a flamethrower. And let me tell you why I like it. I've always loved fire. I mean, who doesn't? This is the greatest stuff ever. And to package it into this controllable, portable device, easy. Greatest piece of tech, 2019. You've probably seen my laser iPhone back glass repair video. Lasers are really what's interesting to me this year. Yeah, all of the new cell phones are really good and all of the new headphones are really good, but when everything is really good, it's hard to pick a favorite. So that's why I'm sticking with lasers. I found this pretty interesting little piece of tech while I was working on my Team Trees workbench. It can very accurately, using a laser, measure distance up to 65 feet with an eighth of an inch accuracy. There are two little openings up at the top of the box. One is for emitting the laser, and the other is for reading how long it takes for the laser to bounce off of whatever it's shooting at. The little sensor can tell by the reflection how far away an object is. It's pretty instantaneous. It does cost about twice as much as a normal tape measure, but when you're measuring lots of things, it might be worth it. Lasers. My favorite tech of 2019 would be the iPhone 11 Pro, primarily because of this wide angle lens. I actually use my iPhone a lot to shoot run and gun, simple B-roll shots for my videos, just because it's so convenient. So having access to that new lens for cool slow-mo shots like this just makes me really happy. My favorite piece of tech for 2019, not an easy question, iPod, AirPod, what are they called? AirPod Pro. Are AirPod up Pro? there, are up there. Also, the iPhone 11 is one of my favorite iPhones ever, but my favorite piece of tech, my favorite piece of tech is definitely the folding phone. Not necessarily the Samsung Fold and not necessarily the Razer Fold, which I've got one of right here, but folding phone technology for me is my favorite, most exciting piece of technology to go into consumers' hands in 2019. It doesn't matter how much top tech I pack on my back, all of it is worthless if I can't keep it charged on the road. So Mr. Mobile's MVP is a battery pack. But stay with me, it's a cool one. This is the Sherpa 100 PD by Goal Zero. The 100 means it's the biggest battery you can bring onto an airplane, and the PD is for power delivery at 60 watts. That means it can charge my laptop on the go. And the cheap plate up top means it can charge a phone at the same time. It's not cheap, and it's not small, but it is the best battery pack I've used. It's my top choice for anyone who needs to stay charged while staying mobile. 
My favorite piece of tech from this year has to be the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo with an i9, RTX 2060, 32 gigs of RAM. It enables me to travel with a laptop that is similar to desktop speed because, well, we can't all travel with an iMac Pro, Marquez. <laughs> but yeah, on the form factor, two displays, I mean somebody, two displays. Hey, what's going on, Marquez? This is Sean Evans, host of Hot Ones, and I wanna take a second to shout out my favorite piece of technology of the year. These right here, the Bose 700 noise-canceling headphones. Now, when you travel as much as we do, popping up our budget set all over the place, you need something that'll help you block out the noise, especially on airplanes. And ever since I got these, I have not heard a baby crying or like the pilot getting on the horn telling us to put on our seatbelts. Haven't had an update in a year and it's all thanks to these bose noise canceling 700 headphones emphasis on the noise canceling my favorite piece of tech that i've discovered this year is my nintendo switch because it's completely changed how i feel about traveling now i'm like yay i have an 11 hour flight and before it was obviously like oh, i have an 11 hour flight Hi everyone, Knoopsy here. My favorite tech of the year is surprising. It's the new 10.2 inch budget iPad. It's a great deal and even more so on sale, has Apple Pencil, Smart Keyboard, and iPad OS support. Now, I love the iPad Pro and it's kind of my main computer at this point, and the 10.2 inch iPad is basically a budget version of that tablet. It really is amazing and lets even more people try that fantastic new iPad OS experience. I'm gonna go with the obvious because I'm a photographer. That's pretty much all that I do. I take photos for a living. The fact that I can take photos with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and post them to my portfolio and people can't really distinguish if they were taken with a smartphone or a mirrorless or DSLR camera, that to me is a significant leap forward in technology. That is awesome. So having something in my pocket that I use every single day that I travel with, that's always right there, that can rival, you know, most case photography cameras, that, that's sick. My favorite tech from this year would have to be the iPhone because I bought a lot of them and gave them away. Also, it'd be really funny if you put uh, what I'm about to say at the end of the video, put this next part at the end of the video. Hey. You probably need a little break from all that Apple stuff, right? Don't worry, I got you. My favorite tech in 2019 is this, the Samsung Q900R AK TV. And don't let the AK hype fool you because there's really not a lot of AK content right now. So that's not the reason that I'm hooked on this TV. The reason why is the active AK upscaling. So 1080p upscaled looks sharper than most 4K TVs and 4K upscaled is just incredible. So every time that I watch movies or content on any other TV and go back to this one, I notice immediately it's noticeably sharper and brighter. Hey everybody, I am Dieter from The Verge. I'm out near St. Cloud, Minnesota, visiting my family for Thanksgiving. It is freaking cold, but I want to tell you what my favorite gadget was, and it's uh, this thing right here, the Apple Watch Series 5. And it's not that I love the always on screen, it's that I got the cellular version, because this is the year that I got locked into iMessage so I could talk to my family. But sometimes I just want to carry one phone, I don't want to have both an Android phone and an iPhone, and this thing lets me do it. I can just carry an Android phone around, so. There you go. It's cold. What's up guys, Super Saf here. My favorite piece of tech of 2019 is gonna be the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Now, I know, I know it's not perfect. It's super fragile, it's super expensive, and it's got a super small front display. But I've not been this excited about a new smartphone in a very long time. And in my opinion, this is the biggest innovation that we've seen in the smartphone space in a very long time as well. The fact that I can have a tablet sized display, which I can simply fold and put in my pocket is amazing. And it gets me super pumped about the future of foldable devices. Marquez, thank you so much for having me. Uh, my favorite piece of tech is probably the, uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, really fantastic quality and it's, it's almost stupid proof, which makes it perfect for me. Linus from Linus Tech Tips here, and I chose AMD's Ryzen third gen series of CPUs. They're great for gaming, which, I love, of course, but the real reason I chose them is that they're ideal for anyone who wants to do more than just gaming with their PC, like creating YouTube videos. With the Ryzen 3600, we built a 4K capable video editing workstation for under a thousand bucks. That just wasn't feasible even a few short years ago. Also, honorable mention to LG's OLED TVs with G-Sync variable refresh rate support, it 
it's amazing. It has been a great year for smartphones. The iPhones are the best they've been in years. However, what I'm really excited about this year is the OnePlus 7T. At this kind of price, it is honestly one of my favorite Android phones I have ever used full stop. And a big part of that is the screen. It is so smooth, so responsive, everything is so well optimized. It's a slightly better camera away from being an absolutely killer phone. As it is, it's just really, really good. No, not you iPhone 11. Awkward. Not you either, AirPods Pro. Don't make this weird. No, I'm gonna zag instead of Apple Zig and go with the Oculus Quest. I know what you're thinking. With all the controversies, the only thing worse than Facebook in your browser just has got to be Facebook on your well face. But if we separate the technical achievement from the company for just a moment, this is the first full on fully independent VR setup. No gaming PC, no room sensors, just you, a headset, a set of controllers, and Star Wars. Thanks, Marquez. What's up, guys? Aaron here from the Mr. Who's the Boss channel, and my pick is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. On one hand, and I fully mean this, it is a mind-numbingly annoying phone to use. The front screen is just too small to do even a lot of casual tasks, and the big screen is too square. Most apps, they're designed for normal, tall smartphone displays, so with the Fold, you'll be constantly finding applications that are either cut off on the top and the bottom, or ones that only take advantage of 50% of your screen. But I don't think I've ever been this glad that a tech product exists. It's a really promising start to the flexible future. What's going on, guys? It's your average consumer, and my favorite tech of 2019 has to be the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. Asus came out with something completely different, and I really like the step that they took with the additional screen at the bottom. Now, you do get that keyboard that's a little bit lower, but it is a nice feeling keyboard. Typing on it is a really good experience. You do have that interesting trackpad on the side, which also doubles as a number pad. And there are just a lot of cool things here. 4K screen, OLED, a graphics card so you could do some gaming. Asus knocked this one out the park and made me look at laptops differently for this year. All right, so that is it. A few of your favorite creators and their favorite pieces of tech for the year. Big shout out to everyone who participated and sent in their clips. And I'll have a link below to everyone who had their favorite piece of tech. And I'll have a link to every piece of tech we talked about. Until the next one, catch you guys later. Peace. Put this at the end of the video. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> like if you included the part where I said put this at the end of the video and the ah, that's hot, that'd be funny.